Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about type conversions. What does that mean and where does it apply? So if you look in Zybooks, there is a section called type conversions. Please go through that and then watch the video along with that. And that will help you understand when you need to use type conversion. So if you look here, 2.12 talks about type conversions. Okay, so we are essentially taking one data type and converting it into a different data type. Okay, and how does this help? So is, there are some implicit conversions like the book talks about. When you divide these two, they are, they are two decimal numbers, you get a decimal result. Whereas if you take an integer number and divide by an integer number, then you're only going to get integer. For example, if num items happens to be an integer, you add 10, it's an integer, you divide by two, they are all integers. You're not going to get any decimals, okay? So let's talk about that. So for example, if I want to, let's add a note here. I want to read three whole numbers from the user. It's from the user. And calculate the average. That's what I want to do. So I know my count is going to be three because I said three numbers. So I'm going to set my count to three. And I'm going to have three user nums. User num one equals zero. User num two equals zero. User num num three equals zero. Okay. So to see out, I'm going to tell the user enter, enter. Now you can read them on separate lines or the same line depending on the prompts that you have. Enter three whole numbers separated by space, you can say. And if your prompt is good, then you can read them like that, okay? So there are some prompts, some situations where this is useful, some situations where this is not. In this case, it will work. So I'm just going to read in user num one, user num two, and user num three, all on the same line, okay? Like that. Now, it doesn't matter. You could read them on separate lines. The way it works is going to be the same way. You could use that for every single one of them. And the functionality is going to be the same, but, you know, why have three different scene statements? You could read them all on the same line. Okay, so we read them and then we are going to now calculate the average, like we said. So let's have a variable called double average equals zero, okay, because our averages should be double, right? Not, not ins. So average equals I add user num, user num one plus user num two plus user num three and i want the parenthesis because i want to add them all up first then i want to divide by count right count is an integer and count should be an integer because the counts are not doubles our counts are always integers for the most part uh, when we count the number of items it's an integer right so then we print this see out average equals and you print it average an end line and of course i would want my c out i would want fixed and show point because my average would be to two decimal places so i'm going to do that as well set precision to two and the more you keep doing these things it'll become habit now of course i need to include i o manip and we include that so now let's see how this works. We build it and we run it. And it says three whole numbers separated by space, four, five, and three. Um, let's make it four, five, and 13. I'm trying to get an odd number to divide by three. So um, 13 plus five is 18 plus four is 22 divided by three would be seven point something. But I don't get a seven point something. I got a 7.00, right? So this is where we need to think about what did we do and why am I only getting 7.00? So what we did was added three integers and divided by an integer. 
which is an integer division, does not, it truncates. Okay, so seven point something something would have become seven. Seven goes into average, which is a double value, but it's already been truncated. So you get a 7.00. So just by putting it into a double variable, it doesn't help us. What we need to do is we need to do the conversion before we actually do the calculation. Now, how do you do this conversion? That is what type conversion is all about. So you want a static cast. Static cast is explicit conversion, right? So which one should I static cast? So if you do this, static underscore cast, okay, who am I going to cast? To what? I want to cast to a double, okay? Now, do you want to cast each one of these or do you want to cast all of them? That depends on what you are actually doing. In this case, if I want the average of these three numbers, I can find the sum. The sum can be an int, which is going to be an int. Then I cast it to a double, right? So this whole thing is cast to a double. And then I can cast this as well. Static underscore cast to a double count. Like that. Okay, that is the right way to do it. Now let's try that and see what we get. And we'll also see some not so good ways to do that. 4, 3, and 13. So now I get 6.67. Okay, because I static cast, I converted this whole thing into a double and this whole thing into a double. Now here is where some things that won't work. Okay, what if I do this? Okay, I do the division. I add, I do the division. And if you do a static cast like this, Okay, or in other words, let's do this a little, let's break it down. Let's have int sum equals zero. Okay, so the sum that I'm going to calculate is an integer. And that sum is nothing but the sum of these three numbers, right? This is another way to do it. I could do it this way. I'm going to copy, I'm going to first add the numbers, put it into a variable, then divide. So this would really be sum divided by count. So this should be... Right? That's another way to do it. So I get the sum first, then I divide. So sum is an integer, count is an integer. What am I going to get? An integer divided by an integer is going to be another integer. So if I do 3 space 5 space 13, that's an integer. That's not what I want. That is, uh, let's actually do it. That's an exact 7 because that's what the numbers are doing. 4 space 5 space 13 would be 18 plus 4 is 22 divided by 3 should not be a 7. It should be something else with some decimals. So now here is an how do you static cast it? So static underscore cast to a double. And here's a common mistake that we all make is we do this. We cast the whole thing. Okay. Now let's try. Is that going to work? Let's check. You run it, you put the same numbers in 4 space 5 space 13, I still get a 7.00. I don't get what I need to get. I should get a 7 point something with some numbers after that. The reason being, what is inside the parentheses gets done first. So you do the division first, so then it's already been truncated. Then casting it is not going to help. So what we need to do is cast the numerator separately, then do the division. What this does, now you can cast the denominator if you want to, but by implicit conversion, once the numerator is converted, the denominator will automatically get converted. So this says take sum and cast it first, make it a float or a double, then do the division after it has been cast, then you get the right number. So you want to make sure just casting is not enough. You want to make sure you cast it in the right place. Now you could cast the numerator or the denominator doesn't matter, or both, but you must do it separately, not by putting the parentheses here on the whole thing, because that doesn't quite do what we want it to do. So that is essentially type conversion, and type conversion is used, static cast is used just for that, meaning sum is converted to double only for this statement. It's temporary. It does not happen permanently, okay? If you want it to be permanent, you just change the variable. But in this case, I do not want those variables to be doubles. Then that's how you would do it. Here is another example of why you would static cast. When you're working with characters, this is important. 
So if I, for example, okay, after I'm done with the average, now let's work with characters a little bit. Now, if you know the ASCII values, 65 is the ASCII value for A. Okay, if you didn't know that, we should know a little bit about ASCII characters. So if you go to ASCIItable.com, and if you check it out, ASCII table, it will show you the values for letters. And if you look at this, um, notice A is 65. Is a decimal value for the letter A is 65. Okay, so if you look in your computer here, you can do the C out. If I simply print the number 65, obviously, then I'm going to get a 65. But what if I do this? What if I static cast, I convert to a char this number 65 and print it? What do you think I will get? 65 is equivalent to an A in terms of character. So first, let me put in these numbers for our average. And notice I get the letter A. At the bottom see that that a is for this output so maybe i should have something that says see out demo for characters that way it will make a little bit more sense and the output so what if i output 66 instead what do you think i should get if you know if you look at the ascii table 65 is a which means 66 should be b so i get a b so static cast can be used for characters. When do we use this? For example, let's say I have a char variable, char um, option, okay? We will use this a lot, equals lowercase y, okay? Now, between lowercase and uppercase, there's a certain number of characters. So if you go back to the ASCII table and look, the lowercase a is a 97 and the uppercase a is a 65. So the difference is 32 characters, 32. So if we go back to our Visual Studio here and add static cast, okay, let's do it without static casting, okay? We take option and add 32 to it. Actually, we should subtract 32 because option is lowercase and if you want to convert it to uppercase, we are going backward, right? So let me subtract 32. So 65 is capital A and 97 is lowercase a, uppercase and lowercase. So if you want to go back, if you want to convert it to uppercase, we must reduce the number. So option, whatever it is, is a char. If we subtract 32 from it, let's see what it prints, okay? We can do math with characters. And that is also a very good thing to know for type conversion. So there we go. We get 89. That doesn't make any sense to me. What is an 89? So instead of just outputting it as is, what if we static cast it? But when we static cast, we want to static cast to a char, not to a double. In this case, it's char. I want to output a character. Okay. Then you output it. This is kind of how you play around with characters. Um, you static cast and notice you get an uppercase Y. So you're essentially converting from lowercase to uppercase by subtracting a 32. So if I change this to a lowercase a, then this would be converted to an uppercase a. So here are my numbers to do the average. And notice that now is an uppercase a. So try it out and see what you get. But that is type conversions is essentially converting from one data type to another.